I was born on the 19th day of October in the year of 1994. I was born in Paris, Texas, to my loving parents, Jeff Grimes and Debbie Hurtado. Notice that they have different last names. When I was in 8th grade, my parents split. As it turns out, my dad had been cheating on my mom for 20 years. I now live with my dad in Missouri, while my mom lives down in Texas. I'm going to be a junior this coming year in high school at Centralia High School in Centralia, Missouri. In my school, there's about a total of 400 students, about 100 per class, and my class is the largest, uh, largest of all classes at my school with 120 students. I'm not, I guess, your average girl. I'm kind of a tomboy. I don't really play sports, so I don't like being that competitive. I like being competitive like as a friend, but I don't like it to the point that you have blood, sweat, and tears coming all out of you all at the same time. Um I favorite things to do would be to listen to music, make music, or just hang out with my friends. Um I'm basically an only child because all my sisters are since I was in fifth grade, I'd graduated and got out of the house. So, my life hasn't really had a lot to it. The only people I really ever had to hang out with was my friends. And as a little kid, I grew up playing games all by myself. Yeah. That's just kind of a basic synopsis of how... I've started to become who I am today. I'm not exactly coordinated. What people would call coordinated, I you know I can play a sport, play you set me out to do a normal day activity and <whistles> downhill from there. As seen in this following clip. Oh my god, you own my muddy feet. Uh oh. Courageous. <laughs> Let me see your back. So Kim fell on Justin Cheeks. Justin Cheeks. How do you feel about that? That's really nasty. Kim, how do you feel about that? That's really nasty. My back kind of hurts too because like it jabbed me in the back. So what happens when you stand on merry-go-rounds? Yeah. Contrary to what you might be thinking, that was not staged at all. Next, I'm going to have a few clips showing what people think about me and what kind of person they think I am. I'd probably say loud. <laughs> because no matter what we're doing, Kim's always got something to say. He's not afraid to say it. Persistent. Without a doubt. Funky. Tough. Um, eccentric, strong, athletic, energetic, active, yeah, nice, it's new, it's new, it's new. crazy, uncoordinated, <laughs> Asian in heart. That's mm. three words. Ah! <laughs> Your turn. Quizotic, quizotic, unique. We want a word that really describes me, not a fake one. No, that, that's it's not fake. Word. It's what is, fake. What does courageous mean then? Brave. Brave, she's brave. I'm not brave. Okay, obnoxious, there you go. That's true. No, it's <laughs> not, not, no offense, no offense to Kim. 
Hey, so what do you think? What do you think? Obnoxious yeah? in a good way. I just, I'm trying to find something. I'm gonna go jump in that lake. And I told Marcos I was gonna be at the park. Wait, there's a bridge over there. I'm gonna go jump off the bridge. Describing Kim. Go get it. She is weird in a good way. Five. Outgoing. Four. Courageous and all that stuff that they said. There we go. That's the word. Funny and all that. Kim is very energetic person. I'm gonna tell you about this young lady. She is a person that has got a great personality that is very upbeat, that's willing to come in school, that's very excited, kind of just seems like she's always got a friendly attitude and just a person to be fun to be around. As a person that I like to have an opportunity to, you know, go out and 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 you know, do activities and things like that to where, you know, it's just a fun person to be around. Now, after watching this video for a while, you might be sitting here thinking, what is this girl wanting to become? What does she want to be made into? Well, on TV, before I can tell you, I have to tell you another vital piece of information. When I was in seventh grade, I tripped in a hole and got a really severe sprain in my ankle. At first, I thought I might have broke something or injured my ankle really bad in some way. So I went and got an x-ray done on my ankle. As it turned out, I have a rare bone disease called melaristosis or something like that. Not really sure how to pronounce it. It means the definition of it is the thickening of the outer layer of bone. That means if I break a bone, it's not going to grow back right. And so ever since my dad, well, my parents, found out that I had this disease, I was cut off from doing any activities that would be strenuous to my feet. Because if I were to end up breaking my foot, I could be crippled for the rest of my life. And TV, that's why I need your help. Not only do I want to get information out about this disease that I have, but I also want to become a ballerina. And it's hard to find courage to do it whenever I'm scared that I'm going to end up breaking my foot. Being a ballerina is going to be really hard, but I want to say that, hey, even though my feet are weird, I can still do this. Me become made made into a ballerina.